technical difficulties in the room, man! God damn, <laughs> Maxwell Silverhammer, are you there? Yeah, I can't hear a fucking thing except for you cutting out right now. Oh, hey, that fucking... probably sounds fucking lovely. I had it on high, I don't give a fuck. This is nothing sacred for the 10th of August, 2016. We ain't fucking around, we're just gonna get this shit done. Yep, you got it. God damn it. We're doing it for you guys. We're doing you know? it for you. This is what we do for you people out there. <laughs> you fucking people. Because, of course, they had, they had to do a fuck date. And, uh, you know, they can't just leave shit alone. Because I love how they put something out and the update is shittier than the previous version. Yeah. You know, it's like, okay, that's really smart there, Yimby. Where did yeah, you come up with that one? I think it's something with Skype. Because it seems to work everywhere. It seems to work on the recording now. So right. The recording is right. working correctly, but well, Skype is because it wasn't even getting your voice before. Right. For now it is. So now so. it is. So we're back here, so we can talk our shit. Had a great weekend. Great fucking time. Great concert. Oh, yeah. Vertical Horizon. Great concert. But we we did have a little disagreement at the end of the weekend that we want to talk about. <laughs> yeah, we did, man. Actually, there's a few things, man. A few few things to cover right you want to go into that first let's go into that first because uh, okay. it's something that we wanted to talk about so basically we won't go into details basically one of our listeners and you can go and check this out on uh, maxwell's uh, facebook Please. rant one of our listeners was supposed to meet us up uh you know we we're supposed to meet up on saturday during the concert didn't go as planned for well it was you know, it was a you know basic just basic for do reasons. At this point, we'll call it a hiccup, I guess. Yeah, huh? hiccup, whatever you want to call it. Well, you know, I was like, okay, we'll let it go. You know, we might mention something, you know, maybe say something. Um, maybe not, you know, maybe just like let it go because, you know, no harm, no foul, you know, it didn't really affect us too much. Didn't, you know, I, I think it affected them, but didn't affect us too much. Uh, but then Mr. Maxwell decides to just go on a rant about it. <laughs> and and it kind of you could tell it kind of embarrassed embarrassed her uh, a bit at least in my opinion you know kind of made her like whoa I didn't expect that you know I was just having a good time no harm no foul well but, I, I think she was a good sport man she did take it pretty well man yeah but see I don't I don't think it's any of any any I don't think it was anybody's business in some ways like it was almost like you were just kind of like just doing it like just like. Because, I, don't, you know, first of all, I mean, you know, it was just kind of like, yeah, I'm just going to rant about it, blah, blah, blah. I know you do that about certain things, but it was specific, and it was, like, almost, like, personal, like, you know, like, you know, it just, just kind of well, you know looked like it, mean, was, it was trashy and shitty and gossipy is what it was, like little bitch. Well, see, and I noticed that, yeah, you, you have a real thing about, uh, like, you always call it gossipy. That's, you know, your, your term for that. But there are times, man, where I just want to go at a motherfucker, like, all right, dude, you piss me off, I'm going to let you know. Like, my thing is, I'm not going to talk about you. And you not know it. You know what I mean? Okay. But everyone else in the world has to know it then. So why didn't you just write her an email and talk to her about it uh, public, privately and let it go that way instead of bringing it out like, oh, fuck this. I'm going to bring it out so that everyone can know. Because really, in, in the grand theme, scheme of things, it didn't affect us too negatively. Yes, we had to deal with it for about three minutes total. Then we said, you know what? We're not, we're, we're, we're not going to do that. We're going to enjoy the concert. We can't deal with this. We've got to get in there and take care of our stuff. Right, you know, right. Because we didn't know how, how early it would be. So you go, you write an email, say, hey, this is why, this is what happened. But no, you went on Facebook in front of everybody, and she had to defend herself for no fucking reason because it was really no one in, no one in anybody else's business. I mean, even right. when, even when I try to, I do stuff on here, you know, like with, like talking about people, I rarely mention people's names, you know? <laughs> yeah, see, that's, that's the difference between you and me. If I'm pissed off at somebody, yeah, I, I'm not a, I will I'm not a prick. Them about it because that's prickish dude there's no reason for it you just kind of embarrass her in front of everybody that's what i do that'd be that's... that okay I, 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 all right so if, if it ever happens with you you want everyone on the internet to know something that happened well, first of all know, how do you how do you even know that she wanted anybody to know if, if i did something dickish then yeah dude then i deserved it but see see it, hers was was just more like eh, i mean it was kind of annoying but and it was annoying but it was it was also more like something we could we could kind of poke with Right, but right. but just to let everyone know, and then to call her out on it, you know. Yeah, it's, it's well, like, you know what the inf and, and you're right on this. I will say, the infraction didn't fit the punishment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and, and you're right on that. I, I I probably shouldn't have. In her case, I should have tagged her. Now, if it was somebody who really did something really fucked up, you know, like I I went down to meet them and they blew me off and weren't answering their calls or something, and I'm sitting out in the heat. Then I would be pissed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, because so. we, we did our best to try to try to take care of what we were doing. You know, obviously we, um, you know, we you know we, we called and tried to get things set up, and it just wasn't organized, and we just didn't have the the means or the the time to really to do that. You know, it was like we were, we were expecting someone to meet us somewhere. And right. we were have to, we'd have to go back and find them first, so we couldn't get information. So it just what didn't work out. And we were like, you know what? We're gonna enjoy our concert. We need to get into in here to do this. Uh, we don't know how big it's gonna, how crowd it's gonna be. If we can get, if we get, if we come back and it's just a mess, you know, it's a mess. Yeah. And you know, and, she never saw the concert, by the way. Oh well, yeah, that's it's unfortunate. But that's what happens when you don't plan shit and and don't take you know don't don't plan your shit. You know, because we had well, you know plan. what? And to, on her defense, though. From what she said, nobody fucking knew shit down there. You know, like she was asking all these people in the hotels and nobody was taking her to the right places and nobody, you know, even though it was all over the TV screens down there. So, yeah, so Pete, so she could actually, she actually never actually, did she actually get to see it on the TV screens or? No, no, wow. never even saw the concert, dude. Well, that's unfortunate. See, that's, that's a, adds insult to injury when you're on the next day, you start ripping into her about that. So it's just, I don't, I just don't agree with that. I think that, you know. And you're right, you know, like you said, the punishment doesn't fit the crime. Yeah, was, I'll admit that. Now I'll admit that. But you know what? I, I say she was, I still give her props. She's a, she was a good sport, you know, and uh, she, uh, you know, and she she admitted to her, her fault and all that type of stuff like that. And, and, and she like also, you said, I probably didn't have to go that route, but, you know, it yeah, was she, just. She also, yeah, she also went as, in, as also liked my, my comment, because I said, I don't contone of this video. I was like, I'm not, this is not me. This is Maxwell. Amen. Right. Well, that's fine. That's cool. Because I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I didn't want, I'm just like, oh, let it go. Let shit happen, you know. Yeah, it was something, you know, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it, and, you know, personally, if, it's, if it becomes that, I'm sure you would email, but just like to throw it out there, like, yeah, you, and you're stupid, and <laughs> fucking dumb, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that well, was that was that was shit on a stick dipped in cum and uh, dropped in a vomit pile and uh, rolled in cat litter that's been pissed on by a dying cat. And oh, set there in you the go. Heat for twenty years. So, 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 so yeah, man. You know, in, in her case, you're right. It was I probably went a little overboard. Um, you know, in certain situations, you know, like if a, if it was an ATG situation, you know, <laughs> then. That, that's shit where because you know even back back in my rap days you know I used to if I was pissed at somebody I'd, I'd make a rap about it you know yeah and yeah that's yeah it's, it's Facebook's a little different because you could tell she was embarrassed and I was like oh because uh, you know, she might not like here's an example you called her out you, you posted her name in it too right oh uh, yeah I did I see and now what about anybody who's on her timeline that thought she was doing something else that night and she was like oh I didn't I was just gonna go out to somewhere and maybe someone else thought she was doing something else so maybe you might have caused a shit ton of problems in her life that just didn't have to happen because you call you you po posted her name and tagged it, so pretty much anybody who's her friend can see that usually. Right. 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 Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. then you're just like, oh, and then you make it a scene where all of her friends on her Facebook page see that. So I'm sorry, you you were you were, I I uh, I believe you were wrong in this one, my friend. Well, yeah. In, in this case, probably so. I probably took it a little too far. Um, you know, and I'll admit that. I mean, you could have posted, even if you would have posted a video, yeah, there was a situation this weekend where, you know, we didn't mention anybody's name. You said, you know, a, a blink, you know, a blah, 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 situation where, you know, they was prepared or blah, 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 they didn't do this. All right, that's cool. But then just to make it and not only just call her out in the video, but post her name on the main thing, that's going to, you know, right. tag her and everyone else that she knows. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I totally, I, I see where... You know where that was, a, well, you know, good. a problem. See, it's a learning experience for you. It is, man. Because you know, experience. normally if I, if I get pissed at somebody, you know me, man. I, I I put them out. I put them on blast. You know, that's my thing. Yeah. You know. Yep. That, and that that's you're you're you just dying to burn that bridge, man. Dying the name on <laughs> that shit. Well, you know, and and here's the thing too. You know, it was the next day, and I'm not trying to justify it, but I guess I was still pissed off about it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, God damn it, fucking blind people, you know, and, and it was one of those kind of things again, you know, it mm -hmm. was like a, a personal thing for me. Well, I, I, all I'll say is I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't need to apologize for shit. I didn't do anything wrong, but yeah. I'll just say that, you know, I'm sorry, didn't get to see the concert, not sorry about anything else, uh, because, you know, that's, we're adults here, you know, so you got to take care of your own shit and make sure you're, you know, because me, it's like, it's like Kenny Loggins says, right? Meet me halfway across that sky, you know? Right, you're right, not gonna right. Meet, you're not going to freaking bend, you know, we got to take care of our shit and get get in, and we've got to deal with our own, you know, making sure we're in the right place at the right time. You know, if you're there and you see us, and we're like, hey, all right, then that's cool. But if not, then, you know, 
Yeah. Oh, and the comment she made was was a joke too about getting get the society to come get me. Oh yeah. yeah oh, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. So. But 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 at the at that point we're we're actually trying to make. At that point, we were kind of in like, hey, all right, we got to get to where we need to be. You know, we're like, because we didn't know about security, about anything. So when someone were like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a setback. Like, oh, Jesus. You know, because yeah. that was our thing. Remember, we were like, no bullshit tonight. We're going to have fun. You know, we don't want anything. Because we even talked about that with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Remember? Yeah. Coming along? Yep. You know, so. And I, uh, I, uh, I think it's interesting. Um, uh, that that uh, just speaking of the concert, getting on from that. So we're going. We're that was good. We got that out of the way. But speaking of the concert, it was a great concert. Hot as fuck. Although the Gatorade idea was fantastic. That was great. And I so, do like that there were some parts that were semi air conditioned, so it wasn't yeah. completely. You know, you but weren't not, dying. Out that there. last half hour, forty five minutes, dude. I was dying, dude. I was like, oh shit. Well, you were sandwiched in between everybody, it seemed like, against the rail there. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, I'm talking about the end where we were, because we were also moving around. Like, And that's the thing I was going to bring up, man. It's like these fucking Zomboids, man. Oh, it's like you're listening to live cool? music, and you're not getting into it. You're all the Zomboid. You're in the area where the concert is, and you're just standing, staring. I mean, it's it was a good... They played well, I thought. I thought they played great. Yeah, I and all their they, songs were they, good. Even the songs I didn't recognize, I still liked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, there were a couple that were a little less, like the cause, cause, uh, consummate, Consummations, a little bit bagely, but actually, when you listen to it on the album, it sounds good, too. So. Well, it, it's cool, because I did download the album. Um, yeah. So now I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that song from last night. Yeah, it's a you good, know, so it's it's, a good it's album. Gotta, I, can't, I can't get the shit, some of the shit out of my head. Like, better when you're not there. Uh Better when you're not, and then that broken, broken over you was pretty decent. There's a couple of, you know, I like. Uh, What's I've that always one liked Ever, for, um, Evermore, and uh, and Song for Someone, and uh, was, uh, Love Struck. Our, our, uh, Love Struck is great. Yeah. Um, what was it? Something light. Oh yeah. Um, oh shit, I don't even know. Yeah, the uh, some yes, yeah, Black Light or something like that, or, or Truth Light or some some kind of shit. Yeah, we'll have to look it up again. I'll be listening. I'm not gonna listen to it for a while because I can't. I'm kind of like I'll cry because it was. It's, <laughs> It, it holds very dear memories. No, no. Was this one of those up, those the top of the top of the roller coaster? And then, of course, you know, going back to work and everything, especially with Sunday, man. Fuck, dude, I barely remember getting on that goddamn <laughs> plane, dude. And then, uh, Scott, hey, I can't believe you guys. You were up and you know six in the morning, and you're like, hey, man, get ready, man, my ride's coming. Yep. Yeah. And, it's, and, I, and I, was, I was focused. I I got through the fucking checkout, checking everything was uh, fine, obviously. But well, the one thing, and I did tell Crack in this too. You fuckers left a bunch of, like, half-drunk sodas sitting everywhere, dude. Yeah. So I found, like... Sides, you know, McNighties. Yeah, exactly. Dude. A fucking um, Carl's Jr. Coke sitting on the counter. I'm mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? Man, pour this shit out. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, Kraken left me a nice little gift, man. Left me some, some peanut butter pan- um, cupcakes. Oh, yeah. So you had those. I think that was actually me. I don't think I ate those that night. Was it you or him? I, I thought know. he was the one who bought them. Uh, no, I bought one. I bought one pack. So there's probably one pack in the fridge you had, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. There were several in the fridge. There were like three in the fridge. Oh wow, they good, huh? Oh hell yeah! Well, yeah. I even texted him. I was like, "Hey, buddy, you shouldn't have," you know. Yeah, you should actually. You can get those at the Seven Eleven. They're a like dollar fifty, dude. So they're Seven Eleven brand. So those were good, man. Those were cracking up. Do they have chocolate stuff. in them or something? Or? Uh, it's chocolate and peanut butter. I have to check it out. I have to check like, it out. Again. Dude, it's like eating a Reese's, like in a cupcake. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh fuck! I'm gonna have to get some some soon, man. I'm gonna go to the Seven Eleven, dude. Dog. So that was uh, that was cool, yeah, man. So, but it was just like just the whole whole idea. I mean, like, and everybody, of course, sang for everything you want, which is a big hit. But everything else, it was like the audience. Maybe it's because it was so warm, so hot. I but, don't uh, know, though, man. You still, if you dig their music, you're going to be grooving a little bit, I would yeah. think. And, you know, and we grooved, and I think, you know, a lot of, I mean, when Everything You Want came on, and, and they stopped playing, and every, you could hear everybody singing. Yeah. That was just badassery, dude. Uh, oh, yeah. I yeah, that was like. Everything You Want. So, yeah. Yep. And they that, had him, they, he, like, let everybody sing the line. Yeah. Yeah. So that was kick ass right there. Definitely kick ass. And okay. um, so, so. But anyways, yeah, so that was a good time. So we got that out of the way. So you wanted to lock horns again on something. You wanted to bait. Well, you this be- is later. I, I got a few things. I, I um, okay. got my sleep uh, CPAP mask, by the yeah. way. And this is the first part of this. But it was kind of funny because I, I, they called me and they said, you know, we want to have you come in and we're going to show you how to work it and all this type of shit. Well, and, and I'm, we'll come back to this. But 
the first thing I thought was, fuck, you know, these people probably don't know I'm blind. Mm-hmm. I'm going to walk in there, and then I'm going to get some jerk-off, probably Asian, that has no idea how to show me how to work that stuff. Mm-hmm. And they're going to say something like, is there someone that helps you? Or do you live with someone? Or some kind of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to shirk the responsibility of showing me. Mm-hmm. So, um, but anyway, I'll, we'll, get, we'll get back on that one in a second, though. Because that's, that's... But I, I, I did get a guy, his name was Kenny, um, who came out and he was like, yeah, come on back. I'll show you how to work everything. So I'm like, okay. So he showed me how to hook everything up and where this goes and where that goes and, and all that type of stuff. Um, but the straps were a little confusing on the mask. And there were some things I said, hey, can you can you leave them intact? And it was in a nice little zipper case. And mm-hmm. it's actually used for traveling. So, dude, if I ever travel, I can take it with me. Oh, nice. But uh, And it's got pockets for the, you know, for the uh, plug for the machine and uh, for the hose that goes from the machine to the mask. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of components to it. But he, he left as much assembled as he could. You know, and, and packed it up real nice for me, and I'm thinking that's probably the prettiest it's gonna look. Probably, <laughs> you know, probably, huh? What's that? I said probably is, huh? Oh yeah, because once I got it home, I just ripped into it and, and opened everything up. But the thing was, last night when I was gonna use it for the first time, so I put it on, and I turned it on, dude. And it's it's really blowing hard, dude. It's like sleeping in a wind tunnel. It's blowing harder yeah. than a whore with a gun to her head, as I always say. Yes, exactly. That's exactly what it was doing. And it was just like airs blowing on my neck and chest. And I'm like, I don't think it's supposed to do this. You know, and it's like. And and there were some parts where it's almost like too much air. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, this probably needs to be tighter or something. Anyway, long story short, I didn't get much sleep because I was fucking with this thing all night. And then eventually I did get it to work. And I think it was one of the fasteners. I finally got it fastened to my face. But. It just reminded me of how much I hate fucking with things, dude. Like, you you do like to fuck with things. Like when you were hooking up my, um, you know, the um, your phone to my uh, yeah, and you sound were like, bar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like me, that makes me totally fucking. You know, like uh, I don't know, man. Um, but by the way, thanks for for moving that in front of my TV, which makes it sound a lot better now. I think it does uh, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was watching uh, Jail the other night and. Uh, you know, I was in the kitchen eating and, you know, using the bathroom, and I could still hear everything. So I was like, mm-hmm. this is so much fucking it's, it's better. It's bouncing off the walls like it's supposed to. That's how you get the surround sound, is it bounces off the walls. Yeah. I don't it, know why my brother put it behind the TV. I'm not sure what his logic was with that yeah, was, there. So, I don't know either. But uh, anyway, I, I guess that whole thing is it kind of a, a two-part thing, because the one, one part is like, you know, when I was a kid, dude, I used to hate puzzles and anything where I had to put... You know, find where the right part goes and, you know, you know, try to figure things out. Like, I don't like that kind of shit, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm just not programmed that way. So fucking with this mask was really trying my fucking patience, dude. I was like, God damn it, you know, and it, it's not working right. And it's not working the way it should. I'm like, I don't know what I need to do. So anyway, I, I finally did get it to work like it was in the sleep study. But, but yeah, dude, that's not, it's just I, like, I know you, you like to read manuals and, you know, you like to adjust things, and like me, I'm, I'm yeah, my thing. Well, it depends. Like tonight, I'm like, fuck, I don't want to fuck with this because it's after a long day of work, you know. So I'm yeah, kinda... but you were, you were up for the challenge. If that had been me, that it, it, the night would have been over. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just, I just <laughs> fixed them because we had some issues. We were having some issues with audio. Like uh, Max can't hear the intro music, and he used to be able to. So I need to figure this shit out. Something happened with the update, or whatever fucking update came out, or whatever the hell happened. Some and, kind of uh, fuck date. Yeah. But, um, so that was it. And I, I called and I left a message for the guy today just to make sure that I'm doing a few things right when using this thing. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? He, you know, he didn't so. get back to you? Uh, no, he hasn't gotten back to me yet. So he, he did, well, we're kind of playing phone tag because I called him early this morning. And he called me back, but I was in a meeting, so mm-hmm. I couldn't take the phone call. And then I called him back and left another message, and I didn't hear from him yet. So, so you, you know. think you're doing it right, though, right? I mean, like, the sleep you did get, did it seem better than normal sleep? Oh, well, dude, I fuck. When I heard my clock, I was, like, still in dreamland there, dude. Well, part of it was because I didn't sleep very well because I was nervous and fucking with the mask the whole time. And, you know, and I'm like, uh. uh and then I would lay down, and then I kind of doze off, and then I wake up, and the thing would just be like, <sighs> Like forcing oxygen up my nose and mouth and shit, 
and I'm just like, uh, I don't think this is right. I'm not doing this. But then you got, when you got it working, you could tell it was working, though, right? Yeah, it, it when, when I could feel that it was doing what it was do what it did at the uh, sleep study, then that's when I was like, okay. Like for instance, when you have that thing on your face and you like try to talk, if it like kind of jerks it a little bit, mm -hmm. that means that it's it's working like it's supposed to, and it's supposed to be a little more subtle. You know, like you can feel the oxygen going, but it's not supposed to be this wind tunnel that's blowing down your yeah. Because pro probably what's going on is it's uh, yeah, it was it wasn't adjusted correctly, and yeah, so. But what can you could you tell like I mean you said like the little sleep you got you could tell it was better than normal sleep right? Oh yeah yeah it wasn't just a oh god I'm I'm you know I didn't wake up I didn't feel winded or anything you know um, that happens sometimes when you wake up right? Oh oh yeah in a lot of cases I was like yeah. now now tonight it should be pretty telltale because it's I'm gonna have a regular night's sleep you know yeah because you know how to strap it on right <laughs> yeah you know how to strap that thing on your face now buddy. Yeah, well, I was. I think I was strapping them underneath instead of in front, like I was supposed to, and I think that's what was going on. The thing just wasn't, you know, fully going on to my face, so you know, it was it was just like blowing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but uh, but the other thing I was going to talk to you about is okay. So going back to the thing earlier when I had this expectation of going in there and finding somebody who's like, well, oh, does somebody help you? Um, I don't know if I can show you this. You know, and all this kind of shit. And I know you get on me a lot for the whole, you know, I do decided people what, what I don't like them to do to me. Yeah. You know, by generalizing and shit. Yeah. So, but hey, here's the difference, dude. This is what I think. A lot of their generalizing is done through inexperience because their big excuse that they love to use is, well, you got to understand, I've never been around a blind person mm -hmm. where mine is because of experience. And things that have happened to me. Oh, that makes sense. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's why I didn't go in with a fuck you type attitude, but I was ready for it if somebody was going to bullshit with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you're so. pleasantly surprised. Uh, yeah, he was I like, was. Because he was I like, was. hey, I'll just tell you how to do it. And he showed you probably put your hands where it needed to be on the fucking machine. Or... Yeah, it, it kind of shocked me, actually. I was like, wow, he's, he's actually going to you know help me out with it. And he was like, "All right, the hose goes there. Yep, there you go." And it's probably you know, not it, too complicated. No, no, no. It's I mean, not it's probably too like plug it into the wall, plug it, plug the wall, plug it into the thing, then plug the hose in, and with the mat, then plug, put the mask on the hose. Yeah, and strap it's just, your face it's into like the, the straps have yeah. these things that connect in the front of the mask. You know, I guess that holds it to your face. Mm -hmm. And I was going underneath with them and clamping them, rather than going in front and clamping them above. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so you I'll... did figure it out. So you're you're you did actually figure you figure it out, as you can tell, because you you could feel your deeper sleep, obviously, from from than you had before. Oh yeah, 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 and it was it just felt right. You know what I'm saying? It it didn't feel like you know the I didn't have the wind tunnel effect going on, which I had for a couple hours last night. Oh man, that was suck, dude. So it was probably two or three, and then you finally would have said, "Fuck it." Yep, and that was it. And finally, I I got it working. I'm like, okay, I think this is what it's supposed to do. And then I was able to fall asleep, you know. And it fully. was a good, like, deep kerthunk. <laughs> well, yeah, because when, when my alarm went off, I was laying there for, because, you know, my alarm goes off and says, it's 7 a.m., mm -hmm. temperature is whatever. And at first, I was like, I was part of my dream. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Am I going to school? What the? And I'm like, oh, wait, shit, I got to go to work. And then you, because you usually probably get up automatically, right? Where you hear it. Yeah. As soon as I hear that, I just, boop, I'm jerked away. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So where this, I had to bring me out of my sleep. And you get you up know? and you feel like, eh, eh, it's kind of weird being winded when you wake up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it's kind of uh, scary as fuck. Like, <gasps> <sighs> well, but for a long time I was feeling that. I, I, I don't know. You know, like, I would wake up and, and feel panicky for no reason. I'm like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? Did I have a dream that did this to me, or what? Or lack of oxygen, or you're in that mode where that woke you up, or something like that. Yeah. Um, oh, that's probably what it was, most likely. Well, that's cool. So, yeah, that's true. Maybe, I guess that is, a, that is that makes sense. The big difference is that you have the experience of dealing with the people that give you all that bullshit. Um, and then they, they kind of claim inexperience, ignorance, while yours is more of like a, uh oh, shit, you're Based just like expecting, yeah. Like exactly, so that's um, that makes sense. That makes sense to me, definitely. So you do understand that then? Oh yeah, like, absolutely. Like sometimes makes, I will generalize sense. and sort of expect sighted people to do certain things, and then when they, you know, when they don't, I'm surprised. You know, 
And, uh, well, like we had something today at this meeting. It's kind of funny. So Kraken stepped outside for a few minutes to get some air because mm-hmm. he, he wasn't feeling well. And this one lady who was actually sitting at our table, I guess she had to leave early. So she passes him as she's walking out. And she says, well, you have a good day. He says, yeah, you too. And she goes, and by the way, thank you for helping Maxwell. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we were talking about that on the way back to the office. He's like, "Dude, some people just don't know how to act with you." You know? Yeah, it's just it's crazy, man. People can't they can't get over themselves. Yeah. And and this just saying that's like, "Oh, well, he 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 welcomes me by paying me." <laughs> well, that's that's what Kraken said. He's like, "Believe me, if I wasn't getting a paycheck, I wouldn't be doing this shit." Yeah. <laughs> Of course not. No, you wouldn't be fucking hanging out all day fucking stupid. Well, kind of, they probably think, a lot of them might think you're, he's a volunteer, dude. I bet a lot of people do. think I'm a volunteer, too. Like, we're both volunteers, and he, he was gracious enough to, hey, man, can you help me do this, you know, go out to these different events and stuff like that, you know? Oh, sure, man. Well, no problem. I'm going to do that you know? fucking four or five times a week, dude, bro, because I'm, I'm a good person. Like I'm a that. buddy, man. I don't have much going on. I'm a young kid. Nothing you know. against Kraken, but yeah, he's he's not that 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 uh, that uh, humanitarian in that way, at least. Yeah, exactly. That's well, it, nobody should be. Nobody should be because <laughs> it's not it's not anybody's responsibility. But it's funny that, but I, cause I can see the people thinking he just volunteers. Like, well, I know you work for them, but he what does he come by? Does he does he uh, bring, like, bring canned food as well? So, you know. Well, I've even had people tell me, you know, like, well, they'll say, "Is that a paid position?" You know, and I'm like, um, yeah. And they're like, oh, really? You know, so it's, it goes back to, oh, you have a job? Mm-hmm. That's like next to Impossible, right? Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Pretty much, man. So you get a lot of the, the dumb shits and uh, are people who just don't. Or, or that was another thing, too, because we, we, there's these different properties, uh, senior properties that we go to. And um, they're, uh, you know, they're all owned by the same company. And the one woman who I guess is in charge of getting all, you know, the people to come out and speak to the residents and pretty much all the activity stuff, you know, I've tried to, I've emailed her, I've, I've called her. I mean, I've, I've been up her ass for a while. She never fucking calls me back. Mm-hmm. And then she gets up there and gives these big speeches of, you know, I know everybody's been trying to email me and get a hold of me, but, you know, I, I'm really busy and I apologize, but I will get in touch with you. And you're just like... Well, you know, what's the point of even saying that shit? You know, I mean, fuck, we've been trying for, like, years to get into those, you know, to talk to those people. And this bitch never calls me back. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's a a situation where she just doesn't take me seriously, you know, which is very possible. Mm -hmm, Because most people shouldn't take you seriously. (laughs) Well, yeah, you know, because, like, fuck, I'm blind and shit. Well, you're just an asshole, that's all. Uh, Well, I, I... I'll admit that I'm an asshole, and I'm proud of it, though. See, I'll embrace my ass holiday, man. Ass holiday, I like ass holiday, ass holiday. Like ass holiday, like you're an assaholic. I am. I'm a total assaholic. <laughs> so, so yeah, man, and that's. Uh, but anyway, that, that that's been a big thing, and and to get people, you know, and I, I and sometimes I think like, damn, if I was sighted. I think some of these people would probably take me a little more seriously. You know what I mean? Probably. Unfortunately, that's just the way. Idiots are, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, not, you know what? And as I told Kraken, hey, at least I get a pay. Because he was like, man, if I was blind, I don't think I'd have any friends, man. Because people would just piss me off. And I'm like, well, actually, dude, think about it this way. At least I'm getting a paycheck to deal with these jerk offs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what if I wasn't getting paid and still had to deal with these people? You know what I'm saying? That's definitely true, man. So that's uh, that's the deal there. And and one more more little piece of celebration. It's uh. As of Monday, it's been 10 years that I've been at the same job. Wow. 10 fucking years, man. Yup. Yup. And uh, actually, one particular person, remember one person we said was very fake, who, who you met back in your KLAV days? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Who works with a lot of seniors and stuff? Oh, okay, yes. Oh, God, gotcha. Gotcha. Like, she even commented on that, and I'm thinking, God damn, because, you know, everybody else just kind of said congratulations, that's cool, you know. Her comment was, you know, congratulations. It's great that you're it, that. Well, how did she put it? Some about it, it's great that you're that, that you're still at your job and you're still in the world or something like, dude. 
it was or the world's a much better place with you in it. That's what she said. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> and, ha- and hallmark like, moment. Damn, you, you can't even be you can't even be real for a second, you know? No, no. It's great <laughs> you're the world's a better place that you're in it, Max. Yeah, that's what she said. The world's a better place cuz you're in it. Especially especially for all those Facebook friends who get outed for <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, do they think so? Yeah. Oh, speaking of Facebook, hold up, dude. We got to go one more thing, man. Cuz we talked I talked to you about this and you said we should probably talk about it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Remember Timmy Rude Boy? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, well that's right. Yeah, okay. So what happened with Timmy Rude Boy? We listened to his his song about rolling do- about money or uh, fucking so something about with petting it with my bare hands oh, or yeah. like holding some it with shit. Yeah, counting it with my bare hands or some shit. It was so forgettable that we don't even really remember right. it too much. I don't even remember the exact something about being with your bare hands and doing something with your bare hands. Mm-hmm. But uh, it was on our fuck you niggas good luck you niggas segment and we ripped it apart cuz it was whack. It just sounded like a lot of shit today, you know? So, a few, I think it was like last week, I put up this, you know, they have these things going around on Facebook, you know, uh, the rapper I hate, the rapper I love, the rapper that's the shit, you know, da 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 da. And, you know, you copy, you copy and paste it, put your favorite artist yeah. in there. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I did that, and he comments on it, and he goes, Your list of rappers sucks balls, or something like that. And I said, Well, I said, who are your favorites then? And, of course, he never responded. Well, then, like, a day later, he sends me a, a link to a SoundCloud, uh, you know, thing. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck is this? So I listened to it, and the first guy who rapped just totally bit hit. Uh, the second guy that rapped was, was okay, was decent, you know, but it was still more of that today's garbage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I wrote back, I said, wow. I said, the second dude rapping was all right. And I said, he did a decent job. And he writes back and he's like, that was me, thanks. And I'm like, oh, cool, man. I said, what happened? You ate the dude up on his own track? And he was like, he said something. And he was like, man, Maxwell, why are you such an asshole? What can I do to get a nod from you? <laughs> Make some good shit. And, well, and that's it. I said, well, dude, I'm, I'm not into... And, and, you know, here's the thing, too. If you feel in your heart that what you're doing is what you like to do, you know, then fuck what people say. You know, if, if you know, there were people who used to tell me when I did music, oh, man, well, you know, everybody raps about that, man. It's the same shit, man. You're not doing anything different. So, you know, and, and I used to get a little bit ass hurt by it, but I felt in my heart what I was doing was right, so I continued on the path I was going on, mm-hmm. you know? So... Same thing, man. I mean, if you really, truly believe in your shit, who cares if one particular person isn't feeling what you do? You know, don't spend so much goddamn time on that. Just uh, keep it moving. I mean, if supposedly everybody else who's heard it loves it, then Ah, because okay. you, you can't have someone just diss, you know, dissing his shit and, and notice that he didn't, uh, why, he didn't post his list. No, he did. He never did. He just dissed your list, which includes some some guys who would, <laughs> would make would tear him up. Would make dude. his his lyricism, well, what you want to call lyricism, just look <laughs> like like simple like Gaga sounds from a baby. I mean, oh, K yeah. Reno. Yeah. Oh, K totally. Reno. K Reno is will open. Help. <laughs> not even. Oh close. yeah, I put Rap and Ron from Bad Influence. Click. Uh, you know, um, who else did I put in there? Big Daddy Kane, I think. Ice T. You know, so a lot of artists I knew, or knew of, you know. Mm-hmm. So, and uh, actually, that know, surprised me a little bit that Ice T is still your favorite rapper. Um, I think he's my favorite of all time because because of what he's done, yeah. as far as like how he's gone further than just being a rapper. Mm-hmm. You know, like I like the fact that he did. He was the first one to really branch out and experiment with rock. You know, where most rappers were scared to do that. You know, the fact that he got it, he was like one of the first rappers to be in a movie, um, you know, so, and he's a very intelligent speaker, you know, when, when he, so, yeah, he he's did, not just, he did his own book, like he, uh, I think he read his own book, at least, on that, yeah, yeah. he narrates, narrates his own book, so, you know, I mean, he's done a lot, he's not just a rapper, you know, he's, uh, so I, I, I respect him for, what he's done, mm-hmm. you know. That's why I think he's that that awesome, you know. Yeah. So not necessarily lyrically. I mean, he's still got some shit that, you know, I thought was pretty dope lyrically. But 
as far as just what he's accomplished as a rapper is what I like about him. Yeah, you know? yeah, the way he handled the shit, yeah. So Yeah, yeah. But, uh, no, it was just funny, dude, that he's, it almost sounds like Timmy Rude Boy is just trying so hard, like, God damn it, why can't I get you to like my shit? You know? It's insecurity, it's like, man. It's like, they gotta have everyone, like, when somebody does it, it's like, it's like an affront on them personally, which I guess it is in a way, but you know what? Too bad. That's, that's part of the, uh, part of the trick of getting it out there. That's um, how it is, man. I mean, every musician, you know, even good ones, still have people that don't dig their shit. Yeah, like my, my, it's like an improv thing for me. See, my improv thing is if you don't swing the bat, you can never get a home run. So right. sometimes you're going to get those strikes, and sometimes it's going to be a strike for one person and a home run for somebody else. And, you know, some people are going to like your shit and some people aren't. You know, some people are going to like my improv or whatever I do or some like the show. You know, some people aren't going to like this show. Yeah, or some people pretend they don't like the show, but they listen to every fucking episode. Yeah, or whatever, whatever they want to, you know, whatever they want to do, however you want to handle it. If you don't like it, that's you know, it's not, it's not nothing, nothing we can we do about it. You know, we don't care. That's I mean, part of like... putting it out in the public is is to get that criticism, and to get those people who are going to say this this shit kind of sucks, you know, or I don't like this, you know. Right. Right. And it doesn't that... even necessarily mean it sucks. Now we both think that 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 track that we heard sucked, but some people probably would be like, "That's not that bad," you know. And good for them. Or they really dig it because they're into that kind of music. Yeah, they're you know? into that. They don't give a shit about lyrics and you know, well, other yeah, than... it makes them get up and party and drink Patron. You know? Yeah, so whatever. They're like, yeah. oh, I like this shit. Exactly. You know? So who who gives a shit either way? You know. Um, so so that but that's that's part of the risk of, of putting this out here is is doing that. So you're gonna have those people who don't. You know, he's probably used to being surrounded by people who are just like him. Oh uh, yeah. You know, who are gonna dig his shit or at least think, oh well, look at him, he's on his on his way up or whatever, or or not really think about the music or it might even not mean about the music really. It's probably about a lot more of the image shit and just uh, uh, and other things. You know, it's not necessarily about the lyrics, about the the sound of you know the chorus or something like that while with us you know it's about lyricism we want to hear complex shit that says something right you know well that might not be what you know that's not what he's into so, so that's just too bad you know that's what you do that's how you do it oh well, yeah you shouldn't worry that one person isn't feeling your shit you know it's yeah, like I, okay well that, that person didn't like my stuff and you know, such is life <laughs> you know but it's like he wants us to like it so bad you know like we just Sorry, man. It's not our demographic. It's not what yeah, we like. It's not our shit. So too bad. So, but if he keeps, you know, and then he calls you out and tries to make almost like a like a passive aggressive shit, like, oh, your list sucks. And the next day he sends you some shit, and then <laughs> well, like, why don't you give me a nod? Well, dude, you just dissed my rap list, dude. So maybe we don't like the same shit. So maybe you shouldn't be concerned about what I do. You know? Right. Exactly. Obviously, we're, if you don't like who I like, then obviously we're into two different groups of people. You know? So. Yep. yep. I have I have one small thing to to, do, to say before we go. This is another uh, reason America, reason the world is doomed, reason life is on this earth is ah. short. There is a post by somebody on on uh, one of these Facebook places, and this is a very more common thing that huh. said it is a crime or or abuse to call babies he or she when they're babies. Oh God! You should call them baby self. What? Baby self or baby something because if some some I can't find the link right now because I don't want to fuck anything up anymore than I did, but they they basically don't want you to use until that child determines what gender it is. Then you need to call it a gender neutral name like baby self or baby something or something similar. Who sits around and thinks of this crazy people, shit? Dude. People who who are really want to be special. They want people to to think that they're because they don't believe in gender. They because. I don't, know, I don't know where that, that science got lost in the whole idea that there's no such thing as gender. Because Which is kind of funny because it really is. If anything, they're more um, infatuated with gender than your average person. Exactly, exactly because they, they you know, it's, it's about being special. You know, I'm not a guy. I'm a guy in a girl's body or I'm a girl and a guy, you know, whatever the hell their, their new thing of the month. And it's just an, another matter of, of just complicating things and making things like per, like per, like the program pronouns they prefer or, like a little child, like a two-year-old. Mommy, I'm a girl. Okay, Billy, I'm gonna call you she. Yeah, you you're a girl now. You Even though you have a dick you and balls, you don't know what you are at two. You don't know what you are at twenty half the time. So, well, I mean, I think we had a pretty good fucking idea. Well, we yeah, did. but regardless, you know, you you figure that out later on, and then you know you deal with it. Like me, I mean, if if I felt like I was a woman trapped in a man's body, I'd be like, well, I'm just a because I would assume that I'm a woman. 
I feel like a woman, but I'm still a man, so I don't care if someone calls me he or she because it's not their problem. It's mine to deal with that. Right. You know, it's mine right. to deal with the fact that I am different than 99.7% of the population. So if I am different, then it's my responsibility to deal with that. That's not the way the world works, but that's our little snowflake culture we have, man. Oh, of course. Actually, it was kind of funny. The other day I had this event, and uh, I accidentally walked into the wrong bathroom. <laughs> And the woman goes, you're not going in here. And I was like, oh, shit, I'm sorry. And then I made a joke as I was walking out. I said, but I'm transgender. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because, hey, guess what? That's what's going to start happening soon if, if they really get their way. It's already happening. But the, the, but the funny thing, like I said before, it's like no one gives a shit about women going into men's bathrooms. It's all, yeah. you, God damn, those rapist men going into women's bathrooms, though, are all so scarred. Oh, yeah. That's gonna get. But you men, know. women can go into men's bathrooms, and you know they can walk by, brush their hand across your nuts, because you'll love it, because you know that's that's a woman touching your nuts. So even while you're pissing, of course, while I'm pissing, yeah, because that would be awesome. You know, women touching your balls, regardless of what when you're doing it, yeah, that wouldn't well, freak you, know you out. And there's dumbass cool. dudes that feed into this shit too. Oh, yeah. well, I think it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yep. you do. My, my son was 11, and his night his 25 year old teacher fucking fucked him <laughs> he's gonna love it versus his life he's not gonna be confused no he's a he's man, man. <laughs> he's not gonna be fucked up cause he, he's got lucky man just like the Adam Sandler movie that actually was a movie fucking crazy <laughs> think about that think about a movie where a, a 12 year old gets a female gets knocked up by her 20 knocks up this teacher of his yeah yeah Yeah. that's what that's what happened in a movie yeah I know yeah, I saw it it's an awful movie isn't it <laughs> yeah that's like uh you know, I mean, okay, I sit around, I fantasize about shit like, oh, yeah, man, what if I was younger? And, and it, But if it really did happen, who's to say? Yeah, you, had, you might be fucked. Well, I'm just talking about the other way around. Would be, would like, would you ever think there'd be a comedy? Little Jenny's 12 years old. She has a baby when she's 12 from her 25-year-old teacher. He comes oh. back later on and becomes Grandpa Johnny. You know, whatever. Actually, she, he, somebody should put something like that out. It, it, it would never make it. It. It, would never, it would never make it, see, because uh, that, that's a complete double standard out there. Unbelievable oh, double standard. Of course. World full of double standards, man. Yeah. Double standard with cheese. Yep, that's what. Double standard with cheese. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm what not going to play the outro shit. Play it, man. No, I'm not, because it'll break up my voice, man. Uh, for you. Oh, okay. Okay, man. So well, we're so just, we'll just end it. We're gonna end it like this. We're just gonna end it with a with some cause moment of fucking silence. Hopefully, we can get this fixed so you can hear that shit. Yeah. I'm not sure what the fuck's going on with that, but uh, fuck date. We'll figure it out. We just get we at least got this working. So um, yeah. So yeah. yeah. So anyways, uh, I am cruise control. This has been the Nothing Sacred show for the 10th of August 2016, and I am cruise control. And I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. And that's the, that's the story, story there. there bitches. bitches! See you next time. Fuck this life. Fuck everything. You fucking yeah. cocksucking asshole. You motherfucking dick face. Bye, bitches. <laughs>